Ministry of Environment, Forestry and Tourism today received a donation of four dogs to be part of the canine unit, which was established to complement other ongoing initiatives against wildlife crimes, such as poaching in Namibia. These dogs we are receiving uh, today uh, will of course go into a five to six months training at our waterback uh, training uh, center before they are uh, deployed in the northeastern part of the country because the current unit we have is uh, based in the Itosha National Park and we want to base this one in the Bobata National Park uh, to fight elephant poaching um, in the northeastern part of the country. The addition of the four dogs now brings a total of dogs in the canine unit to nine. The dogs are named Kaga, Devil, Vanda and Brita. They are joining Alex, Baron, Nora, Beno and Azaro in the unit. The dogs that we have already have been involved in 240 success cases where they have detected uh, uh, weapons and uh, rifles in the cars They've been involved in, uh, in uh, uh, RS, uh, they've been involved in quite a number of uh, uh, wildlife crime prevention uh, activities. And we have seen over the years a drop in uh, uh, poaching cases. It's because of the measures that the ministry and the partners to the ministry have been putting in place that today we are talking about uh, 10, 10, 10 rhinos poached this year. Uh, compared to 32 rhinos in, in 2020 uh, and the highest uh, number of uh, rhinos poached was 97 rhinos in 2015. Uh, same for elephants. Today we're talking about four elephants only poached this year compared to 12 last year and 13 the year before. The highest number was in 2016 when we lost uh, 101 uh, uh, elephants. Three of the dogs were donated by Old Mutual while one was donated by the U.S. Wildlife and Fisheries. Handing over the dogs, Old Mucho's manager for communication and social responsibility, Marisa Fredericks, had this to say. Old Mutual's contribution and investment towards um, uh, three of the dogs that you saw here today uh, comes from a point of us being a responsible business in Namibia. We value our customers, we value our employees, and we value the communities in which we do business countrywide. These communities also live in the environment that is so unique to the Namibian landscapes. And we are quite aware of how our wildlife has been impacted due to poaching and other wildlife crimes that has happened in the country.